Welcome back everyone to another Mortal Kombat Johnny Cage guide. In our previous guides with Cyrex and with Janet, we mainly went over the potential mid-screen and corner combos you can get with them, while also throwing in a few playstyle tips here and there. With the results of Combo Breaker, Final Combat, and now Evil 2024, Johnny Chameleon has been on top in every single one. So in this video, I'll be first introducing Chameleon's moveset for anyone completely new to her. I'll then go over each and every variation and the many mix-up, hit advantage, and mind game options you can go for. How to control Chameleon's psycho, and finally, the combos with every variation. And to make it even better, we'll have some in-game examples of me using as much of these mind games and combos in combat league but before we get into that after the last patch johnny's stand for shadow kick ender in the corner with cyrax is no longer an option now it's simply a jump kick into shadow kick our original highest corner combo after the 212 launcher gave us 505 damage or 50.5 percent and now with this alternative ender we get 503 damage which isn't that much less than the original you can also end this combo with nut punch to play off that 40 frame hit advantage as well so now that that's out of the way let's finally get into what you've all came here for chameleon our versatile female ninja has three different variations, Jade, Katana, and Melina, that cycle on a timer throughout the match. Each variation has two moves, one that's an ambush with a speedy cooldown and the other that's a summon with a fairly long cooldown. After performing one of these moves by holding the cameo button, you can somewhat control the cycle of the variations, which is what we'll get into later with combos, grabs, and etc. So let us first go over each and every move and see how exactly it can complement the megastar Johnny Cage. As we all know, Johnny is a rushdown fighter, so I'm always going to be running in with him, pressuring my opponent. And being really aggressive can work in your favor with this cameo. With Chameleon's Jade variation, here's how Jade's Glaive can be used with Johnny's aggressiveness. After 4-3, you can call out Jade Glaive to set up further pressure. I usually poke immediately after Jade Glaive to prevent Chameleon from getting hit by an opponent's poke, which will stop the Glaive from coming back and put a halt to your pressure. Another way I use Jade's Glaive with Johnny's aggressiveness is with fakeouts. Most of the time during matches i'm rushing down my opponent gradually closing in the distance every time i'm knocked away so to keep me away opponents will spam down threes down fours and all of these other moves to try and interrupt me while i'm dashing in and with jade variation available i can use their keep away game against them dashing in to bait out a move and using jade glaive to punish it and if your opponent likes to jump holding up during jade glaive will change the trajectory of it covering all of that and if you need some late round chip damage Jade Glaive is good for that as well. Next, we have Jade's Glow, which is really good to use when you want to build up some hype. If you happen to face a zoner that doesn't have a teleport, a teleport kick, or a lunging move, then you can definitely get away with building up some hype. Moving on to our next variation, we have Melina. Melina Roll is a very risky move to use when up close, but on hit could give you a pretty decent reward. Usually when people use Melina Roll, they mix it in with a double O move from main fighters like Radiance Forward 4 3 or Sub Zero's Back 3 4. They'll throw it out on wake up to counter pressure or just randomly call it out when you least expect it. But with Johnny, combining the Melina Roll with his plus frames could create some decent mind games. Since most of Johnny's plus frame strings have poke gaps, it encourages a lot of opponents to try to disrupt them. And in these gaps is where Melina his role could shine. Johnny's 1-1 one, one, and 4 to 1 are the main plus frames opponents tend to try and poke or armor out of. So if you're down to take that risk, calling Melina roll after those plus frames is a route you can go with Johnny Cage. For our other Melina move, we have Melina's Psy, which is good for anti-airs and combo extensions that we'll get into a little later with combos. But similar to the up trajectory of Jade Glaive, if your opponent is a jumper like Ermax, Sindels, and Scorpions, then Melina Psy could be a good move to use to try and get them out of the air and potentially into a combo. Jumping into our last variation of Chameleon, we have Katana, whose fan lift can be quite convenient. Similar to how many characters can use Matara's teleport after unsafe moves to escape being punished, Katana's fan lift can be used in the same way to get Johnny out of trouble or to help him with additional pressure. With Cyrex, I would use Johnny's 4-3-2-1 into Rising Star, making it safe with Horizontal Helicopter and continue to pressure. With Katana's fan lift, I can either use the far version to get away or use the close version to come down with an overhead for additional pressure, just like how I would do with 
Cyrex. Against zoners, Fanlife can also help you getting close to counter a projectile, but be careful as many people use cameos like Sonya and Chameleon as well to counter it. And for our last move in the Katana variation, and to end the three main variations moves, we have Katana's Fan Toss. You could use this move after Johnny's plus frames just like you would do with Melina Ball Roll to prevent your opponent from trying to interrupt. Although it is not plus on block, since it is a two hit string up close, just like Melina Ball Roll, it will go through most armor moves. From a distance, if you use this move to maybe trade with another projectile on hit, it will give you some time to move in close. And from there, you can continue your aggressive rushdown Johnny playstyle. Now that we finished going over the three main variations of Chameleon and how their moves can complement Johnny Cage, we can now use the tips we've gathered and combine them with some scrump dilly umptious combos. Delicious. While we're going through these combos, I will also show you how you can control your cameo cycle throughout combos, before combos, and after combos to make things kind of flow the way you want them to during your matches. Before we get into combos, here are the button references I'll be using to help you follow along with the rest of the guide. Starting with Chameleon's Jade variation, let's see the possible go-to combos using Jade Glaive with and without the disguise change. And feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. Before we move on to the next set of combos, keep in mind that Melina Sai and Katana Fan Live have a fairly fast cooldown, while Melina Roll and Jade Glaive don't. So although you may get extra damage from some of these combos, your cameo meter will take a hit. And finally, here are your go-to combos using Katana's family. Going more over the grab combo with Katana, you want to call Katana's far fan lift at the Johnny slides under the opponent, sometime around here. Then as soon as you lift off, you want to tap jump one, follow it up with 2-1-2, two and, two, and the rest is magic. And if you want to get more damage and get right back into pressure with Jade Glaive, you can cycle through the variations like so by holding cameo, or you could simply finish off with a nut punch and start your mix with Melina's moves. And speaking of grabs, each variation's grabs have their own special use. In Katana variation, as we just seen, you can get back throw combos, which increases the likelihood of the forward grab being free. Melina's grab leaves the opponent standing and gives you 31 frames of hit advantage, which is even better in the corner, allowing you to walk up sweep, walk up grab, or even apply more pressure with Jade Glaive or try and bait out a whiff to punish with Jade Glaive. Even grabs allow you to change disguises. And lastly, we have Jade's throw, which does 13% the most damage out of the three variations. Now that we've went over the main go-to combos and cycle options with each variation, there is still one move we haven't went over that'll help you control the cycle even better. Broken Mirrors. Chameleon has a move separate from the main variations that can be used at any time, no matter what variation you're on. This move equips your fighter with a broken mirror-like suit that halves the damage of your next attack taken, whether it's on block or not. So every hit after that first one is free game. But other than that, this move allows you to immediately move to the next variation in the cycle, which I think can be used extremely well with the disguise change to get you exactly what you want in specific situations, exactly when you need it. Broken Mirrors also has a fast cooldown just like Molina's Eye and Fan Lift, so you don't even have to worry about it eating up your meter. Bullseye. 
All right, everyone. That'll do it for the Johnny Chameleon Guide. I hope I helped you all with at least one thing throughout this guide. And if I did, please like and subscribe and let your Johnny keep evolving. So here's a fun combo you guys can try with Chameleon. And if you end up completing it, let me know down below how many tries it took you. And while you do that, I'm gonna go play some Takeda. Peace.